Hey guys, welcome back. We are once again going to review a Bond tank. We've almost got through all of them now. Check out the playlist of Bond tank reviews if you want to see a review on one that you're interested in purchasing for bonds. I've spent all my bonds, but I'm doing this for you. The next one we're going to look at here today, I have to scroll down because I own some of these. We looked at the, um, we're at the tier 8 premiums now, and we looked at the uh, Patriot, and we looked at the uh, Liberté, which I thought were both good choices for 8,000 bonds. Then we reviewed the Guard, which I also think is a, a decent premium tank for 8,000 bonds, Russian medium. Well, what about this one? This is a tier 8 German Mutz. The Mutz is nuts! Or maybe I could say, if you are considering buying a Mutz for 8,000 bonds, you're nuts! <laughs> because I, I have to say, right at the beginning of this, I don't think the Mutz is a good choice. The Mutz is just not, in my opinion, a very good premium tank. But let's have a look here. Let's have a look. Uh, we're going to show some, I'm going to show you some great gameplay in the Mutz. And I'll just uh, quickly go through it here. So firepower, 212 pen is okay. 250 average uh, damage is okay. Minus 10 degrees of gun pressure is fantastic. Two second aim time is great. 0.3 dispersion is fantastic. Almost 2400 DPM is amazing. And that's with a, a, a very good crew running food with vents and a gun rammer. So what's wrong with the Mutz? So far it looks great, right? It looks great as far as firepower uh, for a, a tier 8 medium tank. Survivability. The turret is made out of cheese, 120. The hull is made out of cheese, 90. The sides are made out of cheese. The whole tank is made out of German cheese. That's not so good, okay? So you're always going to get hit back in a Mutz. Mobility, 50. That's not so bad for a medium tank. Okay, that's okay. Concealment. Concealment is not as good as the Russian Guard, which uh, the rear-mounted uh, Tier 8 premium tank that we just reviewed. That is an awesome sniper. This one has 31% concealment. Stationary, 24 on the move. And that's with full camo skill, good crew, running food, okay? Not as good, but not, not bad, not bad. And spawning, I got my view range up to 494 because I am running optics. So why don't I like the Mutz so much? Let's watch the gameplay and we will talk about it more. Let me introduce to you Banana Ramming Ding Dong. It's going to show us our first game. Whenever I play the Mutz, guys, I just feel like I'm underwhelming. Now, having said that, I'm going to show you two very good games. And you're probably going to come out of this thinking, well, you just told us that all the stats are actually pretty good and we watched two good games. I'm going to buy a Mutz. Don't buy a Mutz. <laughs> well, you're big boys and girls. You can decide for yourself. But the thing I notice with the Mutz, despite the numbers, right? You can go through the numbers and try and convince yourself based on the numbers. But it's just the, the Mutz has no staying power. And when I play the Mutz, I, 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 I feel that all the time. Every time you poke and every time you shoot, if you're detected, you get penned back. You can't bounce anything off your turret. You're not that much better than, than all the other medium tank choices, right? You just, you've got no armor and no staying power. It's like if you're an NBA team and you're trying to decide which player to draft, right? And you've got a guy who's got a really good uh, shooting percentage. He's 99% uh, from the foul line. He gets a lot of three-point shots. He's the best dribbler. He, he can... Is, he can sprint 100 yards fast. He's, you know, everything on paper, his health, it, it's, everything is fantastic. But he's only five foot three. And then there's another guy, and uh, he, he's not that good on paper, but he's eight foot six, and he's from China. Who are you gonna draft? The eight foot six guy from China. You know that guy that plays? He can't fucking play. That. You know the player I'm talking about? Whoever it is that was in the NBA? You just stand under the net and put it in. Okay? But with the Mutz, you got to work for it. you just got to work so hard. And this guy's going to show us how to do it perfectly. He's using the, all the strengths of the Mutz. Uh, except for that gun accuracy. <laughs> he's using the gun depression. He's, uh, he's 
fighting Muppets. <laughs> he used his mobility to get to this position. He's doing it all right. He's showing us exactly what to do, right? And what he's doing is he's staying hull down. And because his turret is kind of, it's that small mutsy turret, that when he pokes, he's a small target. So he pokes and pulls back and pokes and pulls back. And it actually reverses quite quickly here. And so if you do it perfectly, you can make the mutts work. Just like that little five foot four guy. He's going to have uh, some pretty good games in the NBA until the playoffs. And then the enemy team is going to put that eight foot seven guy under the net and they're going to lob him the ball and he's going to catch it and put it in the net. And the five foot three guy is going to be jumping up and down. You know what I'm saying? Stats aren't everything. And in this game, this tank just does not have one thing. The one thing uh, that it doesn't have, and that's armor. You, you just, if you make a mistake in the mutts, you're dead. Did you call that armor? He's, look at how he has to get. Oh, see, lucky, lucky, lucky. He was running to get uh, uh, into, into cover. That was too easy. I know, this one was too easy. Look at that. He played the mutts perfectly, but... For every time you see someone play the mutts perfectly and have a good game like this, you watch someone make a mistake in the mutts and boom, 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 you go back to your room. Snap! And every time he shoots, he has to worry about getting out of the line of fire. And that's what he did. Now, take another one. Snap! And get the hell out of there. Get the hell out of there. Hope he's a Muppet. Yes, he's a Muppet. He does not see you. And see how you... Well, okay. You couldn't get out of the way there. And 560 damage. Dead crew member, yada yada yada, the mutts. He's, he's only been hit once in this game, guys. And he's almost in the garage. <laughs> he's got one foot in the garage. Once he's been hit. Top tier. Once. <laughs> it's like the little five foot three. Oh, he's been hit twice. Who's that? a little... Freaking wheel vehicle. Come on, make it count. Yes. Oh, yeah. You see what I'm saying? They're just... You're outclassed by the big guns and the tanks with armor. Because there's some premium tanks that could have got lucky and bounced that shot. Not, not saying that they all would. But there's some that you can get lucky and come out of the game. And you, you have that game where you bounce uh, 1,800 damage. A and then... That, the staying power. The mutts just doesn't have it. So every every good game you have in the mutts is earned. Let's go here. This is still... He's not a victory here. It's still close. Okay, come on. No, 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 no. You got it. You can't really trade. There's an... Art oh, he bounced a shot. I stand corrected. He's going... And they did not bounce that shot. He's got behind the artillery. Beautiful play. See, this guy knows what to do. And his, he's just staying out of enemy fire all the time. Because... Ram him. Hope he's a Muppet. Is he going to escape? There he goes. They're done for. <laughs> Top Gun. Almost dead. I mean, that was a flawlessly played game. Almost dead. And as you can see... Uh, 3,600 damage, 6 kills. That's ace tanker in a mutts. It makes credits, I know. But what the hell are you going to do in a mutts when you're bottom tier? And that was top tier, guys. You got hit once by one of those new fangled D Russian high HP, high alpha TDs. And he was almost dead. Now this guy, Pledge de Bax, is... Wh what is he going to do? He's fighting higher tiers. Ah, surprise for you. He's actually going to do... He's going to do what you have to do. Another flawlessly played game in the mutts. He's scooting across here. And this just goes to show. This is going to prove that... Uh, any tank in the hands of a good player... Will work. You know, so when you... Oh. Uh, Gigna Katrafen! You're bottom tier. You don't deserve to be able to do damage. There you go, up the ass. <laughs> any player, any, any really good player can make any tank work, guys. Maybe not the Churchill gun carrier. <laughs>
So when you see the videos of the great games, and I'm showing you two here, uh, don't be fooled. Use your brains. And ask yourself the question, can you do that? And if the answer is, jeez, I, I couldn't do that, then don't get a mutz. Get a tank that's a little bit more forgiving. Get a tank that, whoa. The, the gun, how did, this guy, well, he accidentally did a thousand spotting assists. He accidentally did a thousand spotting assists. Which is not bad when you're bottom tier. Why not? Do some spotting assist. Okay, let's take... You can't pen that. But he's moved right up into the thick of things, which is nice. And yeah. Yeah. These... And he's... He got the spotting assist. Oh, no. Tracking assist now. Tracking. So... Oh, there you go. And I think in German that means you're bottom tier. You can't pen. That's, you're being trolled, buddy. You're doing everything right and you're being trolled. 537 damage. Almost 2,000 spotting assist. And he's moving up to fight even more. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Snap him, yeah. Yeah, get, is he AFK? Oh, he was aiming. He's not AFK. Yeah, now he has a long reload. Make him pay. Make him, and he, he's lucky that that uh, big HE shell hit him in the tracks. Uh, no, 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 no. Those shots only hit when you're top tier, buddy. Your gun only hits targets when you're top when you're bottom tier, your RNG is a little bit, a little bit different. Two two. Okay, he's in the central position here. He's got good gun depression. Playing the ridge line. He's doing what you should do when a mutts. He's looking left. He's looking right. Where can he be most effective? Where would you go? Okay, he's gonna go up the hill. Let's go. Come on, you can do it, buddy. Come on, pledge to bucks. This is a kind of position where he can flex either way. Now, is that T-49 going to shoot you again? Yeah, you just... The mutts, you know. The 0.3 accuracy, guys. You know, aim time. Look at all the numbers. Look at all the numbers you want. This is... This is kind of my experience in the mutts. <laughs> yes, let Mikey do it. That's my experience in the mutts. Just underwhelming. All the stats are nice, but hey... And what happens if you do hit them? You roll for 242 bottom tier? Okay, let's see. he's gonna make it work. He's gonna make it work. He's gonna climb this hill like a billy goat. He's right in the thick of things here. Who is that guy? Come on, make him pay, buddy. It's a it's a tier nine Udez. Very powerful tank to fight hull down. So don't fight him hull down. Shoot his side. Boom. Yes. Gigna Ketrafen, you're tracked! Oh, no, you repaired? Track him again? No, he shot the lower plate instead. Okay, Gigna Ketrafen. I thought that meant tracked! Track him, for God's sakes! Oh, he's playing a perfectly now. Perfectly. Perfectly, perfectly. Okay. Right, shoot the track wheel! What is it? And he lit him on fire! Because the... Well, the engine, where is it? In the lower plate on this tank? Beautiful. You are fighting a... A player that doesn't want to shoot you back. This guy's conserving his ammunition, does not want to shoot his gun. Which are the best enemies to fight in a mutz. Those that do not shoot back. Because he has, I, I guess that Udez had a three minute reload time. <laughs> Look at this. Okay, use that accuracy. How are you going to pen this shot? No way in hell. You had a mutz. He's doing fantastic though, guys. He's doing fantastic. Here he goes. He's going to use his gun depression again. He's poking this ridge line and shoot and poke back. That's what you got to do in the mouth. Shoot and poke back. It does reverse fairly well though. Eh? You can pull back into cover quickly. He's doing it all perfectly. I've never seen a mutz played as well. Uh, track him. <laughs> and he's getting more spotting against this guy. Oh, but yeah, he can't bounce anything. Can't even bounce an Indian Panzer, but he can kill an Indian Panzer. Let's kill the Indian Panzer. And yeah, he killed the Indian Panzer. He's now going to start working on the T-54. Let's track the T-54. Track him. Aim. Oh, I, he was sliding on the right. He was on a soap rock. That wasn't his fault. He was on one of Wargaming's soap rocks. He can take out this T-54 and then turn his attention to the next enemy. Yes, beautiful. 
He's doing it all with regular ammo, guys. He is playing. The mutts is nuts. Take him out. Beautiful. Unfortunately. Unfortunately, my friend. Uh, you are on a team of Muppets. Who have all died. And your spectacular performance in the mutts. A loaf has been ended. <laughs> One of the best games I've seen in a mutts. And you had no teammates. It's up to you guys. You guys decide. But for 8,000 bonds, eh, I'd go for one of the other ones. And I see a pattern in these bond tanks. Not just the bond tanks and the premium tanks. Like, is there a good tier 8 German premium tank? Just thinking about it here. You know, maybe the Mutz is as good as it gets. Like the Panther 88 is worse. Uh, what other? There's other ones. What other ones? The Mr. Plow? The one with the plow? That that sucks and is slow, but has a plow? I mean, I guess there's no good tier 8 German premium tank. So maybe the Mutz is the only choice. You guys let me know in the comments. I'll catch you on the next one.